Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic World. So thank you guys so, so, so much. Oh my gosh, you were so excited about diving into Jurassic World. I'm really excited about it now. It was really amazing to see how many of you were just completely ecstatic. You're like, yes, I have been waiting for this, for this, you guys, for the giant island that we're on, for the old Jurassic World, for our new dinos. Check out our dinos. No, I don't want the innovation center. Why? Why? What's that? Oh, cool. So I can see how many dinos I have in here. Hybrids, what? What? Somebody mentioned something about hybrids. Apparently you can make hybrids now. Look at my dinos. My dinos are so cool. But I have not done too much on the park because I was kind of waiting to see if I could get this going, what you guys thought about it. And now that we're back here, I'm really excited because I hear from everybody that this is a better version. Let's collect our little coins that this is a better version than Jurassic Park Builder. So this is supposed to be super duper fun. Even people who I know who really hated Builder really like this game. So I'm super excited about it. We're gonna be learning about our dinos. I mean, look at them. Look at them, have I been feeding my dinos? Oh, we're ready to evolve some of our dinos, that's right. Oh, that's right, and I've got somebody, I've got somebody ready to hatch over here, you guys. So I've been collecting up the little packs. I love these little mystery packs. They are so much fun to collect, it's just so cool. And you get them like every few hours so far. So we're gonna collect the free one and let's check what's inside of it. All right, so we've got some coinage, awesome. We've got 10 more buckaroos. We've got some DNA and we've got some food. So let's put all those away. I'm good without trying that pack. Thank you very much. And then um, what happens is sometimes from those packs you get dinosaurs. And so we actually got this little guy. I have no idea what the heck he is, but we got both of these guys from the random packs. And we also got, um, let's see, another one of these guys. And I actually had, you also get missions from those packs, which most of you guys are like, yeah, Siri, of course you get missions because you've been playing this for a while. But for me, I was like, oh my gosh, there's a biologist and she's studying her PhD papers. I identify so much with her. And she wants to like have me evolve this guy. So we evolved um, Spoonbill dude. Uh, let's see. Uh, Trapegnithius. Nope, it's gonna be hard for me, you guys. I'm gonna try to learn how to pronounce their names because you guys were trying so hard to teach me how to pronounce like uh, Manjugasaurus or some Manjungasaurus or something like that. And I think I can get there. I just struggle with pronouncing things correctly. So that's gonna be kind of interesting. And also you guys like told me how it works is it's kind of like a Pokemon elements cycle now when you come to fighting. Like herbivore is strong against flying type and carnivore is strong against herbivore and like amphibian is strong against carnivore. So I'm gonna try to learn those things when we go into the battle, the battle realm. Oh, and that's actually the little dude that we have, the little like, mm, the little limb salamander dude. So, whoops, and we also have the quest. We'll look at the quest in just a second. But that's the little guy that we got from the random pack. So let's go ahead and put him down, because that's gonna be pretty fun. Oh, look at it, look at it go. Hello, sir. So I am assuming that with this new little symbol, this is gonna be our first amphibian that we have. So that's very exciting. Ooh, where am I gonna stuck him? I really don't have a lot of room. I really hope I can move these guys like in the future too because it's getting kind of crowded already. I'm gonna put him like right down there because I think that's a good spot for him. So let's go check out, ooh, we got a little achievement, what? <gasps> Look how cool he is, oh my gosh, did you see that? There's a little tram going around, this place looks so sleek. We're not in little Jeeps anymore. We're like in the little gyro spears and the little trams. Oh my gosh, there it goes again right past this guy. Oh, look at him. He's like, girl, I'm so tough. I'm so tough. All right, so let's check him out. I want to see. <gasps> look at you. Look at you with your big fat little belly. Oh my gosh, he's letting me pet his little belly. Look at that. That is so cute. So what is he, you guys? I am not well versed in prehistoric life. I am more focused on extant species, which are species that are currently existing, currently living, because the big focus of what I love to learn about, look at him roll over. The big focus of what I learned, love to learn about and the big focus of what I research is going to be living species for conservation. So this is new territory. This is all new territory, but I really love the way he looks. So let's see, he's got some 48 hit points 12 attack right now he only gets like 29 coins i feel like people just don't donate anymore they're like i paid admission why would i donate oh look at him oh are you getting are you warming up are you gathering like a little bit of heat that way sir oh that's so cool oh look he's doing it again he's doing it again okay well let's feed him all right so let's feed him up because i have been collecting a lot of food 
So if this is the amphibian type, then he is going to be good against carnivores from, if I, if I remember the little cycle correctly. So there you go, dude. So he is now fed up. And then somebody said, oh, what's this? This sparkly thing that's yelling at me. Special offer. This still won't last long. 30,000 crates of food. You get a um, Carnotaurus. Oh my gosh. I, why? It's like I try to pronounce these things and it just like, blah, blah. it just doesn't work. And you get some DNA. Look at that DNA. Oh my gosh. That's like the kind of case you see in the movies where they're like, I'm going to show you like a big pile of money. Except now it's a big pile of DNA. So it looks cool, but we're good. Thank you very much. Oh, we have new mail. Nope, we're good there. All right, so we fed our little carnivore, or our little amphibian guy, which is really exciting. We should pick up some more food and activate the harbor. There we go, get the food processing, get the food coming in. Look at this, oh my gosh. <gasps> Look, you guys, it's that scene from the movie where you had the little martinis and then the like flying guys were coming down and that's, that's where martini guy was. Oh, that's actually really cool. That's really cool. All right, and we also have hiding over in the hatchery. I opened up the second hatchery just because it was like 10 bucks. That seemed like a good deal. But we also have this guy. So Alanqua, Alanqua, I'm probably saying that terribly wrong, but we're gonna try. And there's two of those little guys. So they aren't doing too much. They're both just little babies. <gasps> but they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's kind of like looking at an albatross. So, oh, look at you. You are, you are very gorgeous. You, you guys know my passion for birds, so clearly, clearly my passions for my passion for birds is kind of being tapped into right here. Let's go ahead and we're gonna feed you up, my little friend. Do, 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 do. There you go. Whoops. And you're not quite ready to evolve. And we also have our carnivore that we need to evolve up, so we'll work on that guy in just a second too. I think it's super important to get those done because battling is a big part of this. All right, so let's back out. Oh, and then we're also working on that mission. So we do have a mission from Claire Deering here. She wants us to construct your first building and decoration in the park. So we have built and placed the, well, we have built or, but not really like activated the security office. And I need to buy and place a fountain. And she's got some little DNA, like she's got some DNA hiding in her pocket that she's going to hand over to us for that. So here is the security station and i built it right here mm -hmm. there we go Ooh, achievement unlocked there we go oh and it gathers money sweet so the security station is going um apparently we're leveling up somewhere that's pretty cool and if we go to the market apparently what you guys said is once you start like unlocking these dinos then you can like search for them i haven't tried that out like if i press the search button Okay, then it just tells you like a common pack or something like that for, or I guess you can buy them with DNA points or search for them with DNA points. So I'm still learning all of these things. All of these things are brand new to me. So I'm still figuring it out, but we'll get there. And let me go ahead. How much would it cost just to, uh, I just kind of want to expand. It's feeling a little crowded, but we need to finish our missions in order to probably be able to expand for free. All right, so we're going to bring in a fountain and we could put the fountain right there. I kind of want to put the fountain over by our new little amphibian guy, though, because, you know, he's an amphibian. Um, can I get in there? Yeah, there we go. And then maybe scooch this around. All right, let's try putting that there. There, so we just built the fountain. We just completed the mission. Sweet. More experience for us. Woo, it's mighty humid. I've never felt anything like this back in the south. Better wear protection if you plan on being outside today, or you might be sorry. What kind of hum like protection do you wear for humidity? Usually it's like wearing less clothes to deal with humidity. Oh, who are you? Oh, hey, this is the guy in charge of everything. Costa Rican officials have cleared all of Jurassic World assets on this island. Claire, I want every one of them ready for exhibition. I have my people on it, but what you're asking for will take time, especially in this heat. Tell them they have two days. I suggest you and your team get started right away. I like his snazzy purple dress shirt. I'm actually totally like A plus to you, dude, for the snazzy purple dress shirt. And we only have to gather 50 coins from the dinosaurs. Oh man, I've been holding off on the easy missions apparently. Boom, we're done. Look at us go. We are gonna level up. Opening is in a few days. Can someone give me an update, please? Paddocks are in place and we've gotten a good head start with exhibits, but there's still a lot to do, ma'am. Well, we'll just then we'll just have to move faster, won't we, Mr. Oh, you two know each other. I know that from the movie. That's like almost one of the only things I remember from the movie is that they actually like 
we're a couple. All right, so let's see. Whoops, maybe that was a spoiler. Sorry about that. <laughs> Visitor volume is rising, so this is a good time to capitalize on the traffic. Maybe we should be more proactive on fast food services. Really? I don't know. Like, oh, but, but that's like, well, I wonder, actually, that's a good point. So I guess collecting food from there would technically, I mean, it's probably the same kinds of meat and the same kinds of like fruit and vegetables that you're gonna be feeding and grains that you're gonna be feeding to the guest and the dinosaurs and the prehistoric creatures, because there's more than dinosaurs here. Excellent, I look forward to the sales report next month. Thank you very much, Claire. Woo, level four, look at us go. Yay, we can expand. Yay, oh, and we got a new mystery pack. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm actually really enjoying myself. All right, oh, and we got another little triceratops. How many times can you evolve the triceratops, I wonder? So we're gonna have to find out about that. We're gonna expand here, thank you very much. And then we have another mission. What seems to be the delay? I made it clear that I wanted construction done by the end of the week. Sure thing, Claire. I'll contact the builders and have them send for an extra crew right away. Oh, it's that guy who like wore the shirt and he was like, I got it on eBay. Oh, see, I'm remembering things from the movie now. The weirdest little details, but they were cool details. Go with them. I want to be sure this gets done in a timely manner. All right, so we're gonna expand the park. I kind of have expanded the park twice. Doesn't that count? Doesn't that count? Okay, well that's gonna have to count. So I really hope that you can move the dinos because I feel like they're horribly placed and I want to make this place more more organized. Can I really put like a road down? Where would I put the road? Can I put the road down in here? <gasps> you can. All right, you guys, I'm gonna like go ahead. How do you remove it? There we go. Go ahead and like put a little road path. No, I don't want it there. It's harder than it seems. Yeah, a little road path kind of along here. And then we'll just kind of like branch right there. There. Yeah, I've, I've already made a horrible mess of this place. <laughs> but we will figure it out for the future. So let's see. Um, I guess we'll go try to do a battle now because we are waiting on being able to get more food. We cannot upgrade this until we hit the next level anyway. So what is over here for battling? Battle stage three. So what is strong against amphibians? I think the flying types would be strong against amphibians. If I remember like Brawlosaurus, what is the scan now thing? Yeah, okay, never mind. So that's like to use your camera on your phone. Interesting. So here we go. Here's the class advantages. So if I'm gonna fight Mr. Amphibian, then I need to have a flying type. All right, I got this. All right, so we have one flying type and one amphibian. So then I want you and you out in the field. Oh, but I kind of want to level them up a little bit first. So we're like super strong. So let's dive in there. I'm going to feed you up a little bit. Maybe to level 15. There we go. Ooh, I like those stripes. And then we're going to go ahead, feed Tracy the second up, level 17. And let's try this out now. So we're going to send you two out and we're going to start the battle. And let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, here we go, here we go. All right, we got a fight. Um, Let's go ahead and save up the point. Gonna save up the point. I think everybody's saving their points. We're biding our time. They're kind of glowering at each other. All right. Attack, attack, go, 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 go. You got this, Ah, oh, no, they blocked. They blocked both of them, what? Not cool, not cool. I really hope we can handle this, okay? Okay, good, so we blocked that. All right, well, let's see. Maybe I need to, I'm gonna save, block. Can I save like two points? Is that something I can do? I'm still learning how to battle, so this is like, what, my third battle, totally new. I've never really watched or seen anybody do this. Ah, dang, so we, oh, that's not bad. Okay, we only took a little bit of a hit. There we go, so let's do this. We're just gonna go all out. I wanna go all out. There we go. I didn't say to block, but oh, boom! We did it, you guys. Look at that. Man, that bonus is really amazing. Can I swap? Can I swap out? Um, unknown. Okay, so we took a hit. Can I swap to there? Yeah, that's easy. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to block for now and we're going to save up our points. I'm just going to try it out. All right, how we doing? What are you gonna do? 
oh, one of the attacks got through, but it's not bad. So it really is just about kind of matching types this time, which is pretty cool. So I want everything into attack. And it stuck some into blocking for some reason, so I'll have to figure out how it decides. But there we go. So that was easy to sweep the floor with our dinos once we figured out what we were doing. Go, Tracy, the second go. Good job. Oh, so exciting. All right, and we got TNT DNA. Woo! And we unlocked that guy, who we actually already have one of, but we can hatch a new one. Check that out. And that means we'll be able to evolve our little amphibian, and that means that we'll have an amphibian who can take on the carnivores. So that's gonna be very exciting. We have mail. Nope, no mail that we need. All right, so I think we're doing good. We're working on the mission. We have to wait until we can finish expanding into this area. I'm starting to figure out the battles. Um, I think you can continue with more battles. Check that out, we can. So I'm gonna work on really gathering up a lot of food. Um, as time goes on here and leveling up. Oh, we need to evolve these guys. That's right. All right, so let's work on evolving these guys. We're gonna stick them in there. We're gonna use some of our DNA points that we're using and they're gonna be ready. They're gonna evolve. We're gonna start leveling them up. I think I'm starting to already get the hang of this. So I'm pretty excited, you guys. So thank you so much for your immense, amazing support because that's really what made me decide to try it out. Cause I was like, I don't know. I'm not very good at the fighting of the dinosaur sort of things, but it's just, ah. Oh, it's very pretty. You guys are right. This is a really, really pretty one. I love that they're constantly updating it right now. I love that there's things going on. I love that there was a Mosasaurus, even though I don't want to pay $100 for a Mosasaurus. What? What is that nonsense? No way. And I just love the look of it. It actually kind of makes me want to rewatch the, the, the movie again. So it's pretty fun. All right. So we're going to do our best. We're going to try to collect all sorts of awesome dinos. We're going to try to battle well. We're going to try to discover things. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.